The term bone line is almost ubiquitous in the design community. It refers to the shoulder or the fender line of the body of a car when it runs effectively uninterrupted the full length of the body side. Think of the kind of bone you'd give your dog Gidget to keep her quiet. It's a surface that transitions from horizontal to vertical and again runs the full length of the car. For example, on this 2014 Cadillac CTS, we've highlighted the bone line with this snazzy full color graphic. This entire surface we're showing you is the bone line. On pre-war cars like a 39 Buick, the term really wasn't applicable what with those proud and quite separate fenders. Now with the advent of the 1948 Packard, pre-war streamlining came to the modern production sedan. Unlike earlier models from the once great luxury car maker, the line from the front fender top to the end of the rear fender was absolutely unbroken. The sheer sided envelope look appeared in earnest with the arrival of the precedent setting 1949 Ford. Separate fenders were but a memory with this simple and near timeless design. Over the intervening six decades plus, the bone lines evolved, gaining a little kink on some cars, even sprouting a kind of hip on others. One significant car from the mid-1960s, Oldsmobile's groundbreaking Toronado, eschewed the bone line altogether. One of the strongest examples of this characteristic, the bone line that is, on a recent vehicle, appeared on the first generation Mercedes-Benz CLS. It's still spectacular and in my far from humble opinion, visually much superior to its successor. And there you have it, the straight skinny on bone lines, automotively speaking that is. For AutoLine Design Handbook, I'm Jim Hall. It's time for you to subscribe to AutoLine Design Handbook. You're gonna like it, and more importantly, they won't kill my dog. My cute little terrier, he'll live. Won't you open your hearts and, and subscribe so dogs like mine will survive? Thank you. And little Binky thanks you too. Actually, it's two terriers and one of them is Bentley and the other is Harry, but I'm just doing this for sympathy because these guys won't get near my dogs. They've killed mailmen. Standard terrier fashion, snap their spine, drag him in the house, they debone him. Uh, saves on us having to feed the dogs.